Pan American Flight 914, the mysterious plane that disappeared and landed 37 years later. Imagine this. You book a short three-hour commercial flight to visit family like you've done every summer. You call them from the airport to confirm the flight is on time and tell them you'll see them soon. You board the plane, prepare for takeoff and take to the sky. Your family drives to the airport excited to see you. They stare at the arrivals board and see your flight is on time. The arrival gate fills and empties with no sign of you. They ask the help desk why the flight is delayed, but they don't have an answer. They wait and wait, but the flight never arrives. And no one knows why. It's simply disappeared. Your family is devastated when they're told the plane must have crashed in the ocean, even though search efforts failed to identify a crash site. Surely, evidence of a crash would have to be found. Unless there was no crash at all. What if there was another reason for the plane disappearing from radar? Maybe the pilot had to change course and fly at a lower altitude, which kept radar systems from detecting it, forcing them to make an emergency landing. If the communication system failed, they'd be unable to update air traffic control or other authorities. Maybe you and the other passengers were still on the plane, unscathed, waiting to be found. Or maybe you were taken on a journey through space and time. This is the story of Pan American Flight 914. On July 2nd, 1955, Pan American Flight 914 left JFK Airport in New York City and headed to Miami. The DC-4 aircraft was taxiing 57 passengers and six crew members for the nearly 1,100-mile, three-hour trip. It was a routine flight with no expected delays, but it never arrived at its destination. It never arrived anywhere, and there was no evidence of a crash. It disappeared from radar minutes after departing from New York and simply vanished. Until September 9, 1992, when it touched down on a runway in Caracas, Venezuela. Escaping all radar, the 90,000-pound DC-4 arrived unannounced. After coming into view of the control tower, the pilot's panicked voice exploded through the radio. Where are we? What's going on? He asked as he guided the plane down gently on the runway and taxied towards the gate. An air traffic controller named Juan de la Corte met the plane at the gate. What he told the captain would send him into an even greater panic. He explained to the captain that it was 1992. It had been 37 years since the plane departed from JFK Airport. Passengers' screaming faces filled the small windows of the plane. The captain couldn't accept what he'd been told and started to taxi the plane back to the runway. By that time, authorities gathered in an attempt to evacuate the plane, but the pilot maneuvered the DC-4 back to the runway and took off. Pan Am Flight 914 once again disappeared from radar and has never been located. So what happened? How do we account for such bizarre events? There are two basic theories. The first involves the premise that the plane flew into a wormhole shortly after leaving JFK and traveled 37 years into the future before emerging over Venezuela. Many internet detectives and self-styled researchers have held on to this theory over the years and there has been much discussion regarding its validity. The second is that the entire story is fabricated, that it's nothing more than a sensational story that originated on the pages of Weekly World News, a US tabloid that published many fictional stories from 1997 to 2007. This is the predominant belief today as the internet has allowed more people access to a greater wealth of information. And it seems there are few facts and little evidence to support the story being anything other than a fantastic tabloid tale. But is it possible that it isn't a hoax? Have there been real instances of aircraft vanishing only to emerge in a place and time that seem impossible? We've all heard stories about missing aircraft. Amelia Earhart, the first woman to cross the Atlantic Ocean disappeared in her twin-engine Lockheed Electra over the Pacific Ocean in 1937, never to be seen again. Scholars and mystics are both left to speculate about what happened to her. The idea that she was left stranded on an island in the Central Pacific is one widely held belief, though it can't be confirmed. On December 15, 1945, American big band leader and social icon Glenn Miller disappeared after his flight from Paris to London failed to reach its destination. 
The official report is that his plane must have crashed into the English Channel, but no evidence to support that has ever been found. In 1945, a total of six planes vanished after leaving their base in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Five of them were 15,000-pound Avenger torpedo bombers that lost communication with ground control. Not a single piece of debris has ever been located. The sixth plane, carrying 13 passengers, was lost in the same location during the Coast Guard's 700,000 square kilometer search efforts to locate the five missing bombers. This area is now known as the Bermuda Triangle. In 1948, Star Tiger, a British South American Airways Avro Tudor 4 plane, left the Azores to complete a London to Bermuda trip it was to follow a Lancastrian plane, a modified bomber with no armor or guns, to the destination. The lead plane arrived without incident. The Star Tiger, its 25 passengers and six crew members, have never been found. Official reports suggest the plane had blown into the sea. One year after the Star Tiger was lost, another British South American Airways plane was lost, flying from Bermuda to Jamaica on January 17, 1949. After communicating its whereabouts to ground control, the plane simply disappeared while flying at an altitude of 18,000 feet. Investigators ruled out the three most common issues that may have caused the crash. The plane running out of fuel, pilot error, and bad weather. Experts have concluded that the plane exploded due to defects in the plane's design, though not a single piece of debris has ever been found. The 20 passengers have all been declared dead. What if these aircraft entered a wormhole and never emerged from it? Albert Einstein described time travel into the past could be possible through a type of wormhole known as an Einstein-Rosen bridge. Wormholes are theoretical areas of space-time that are warped to connect two distant points in space. Einstein considered space to be curved and malleable, not a flat and rigid area that held the contents of the universe. Therefore, it would be possible to bend gravity around a mass to pull other objects in. A common demonstration of this is performed by putting a bowling ball in the center of a trampoline and watching smaller objects placed on the trampoline slide towards the bowling ball in the center. The fabric of space-time curves back on itself, forming a bridge between two distant locations. Based on Einstein's equations, if it was stable enough, it could be used to connect two points in time, theoretically making the type of time travel suggested in popular science fiction movies possible. Many astrophysicists suggest that wormholes are not stable enough to pass through and that we'd be consumed by them. But those suggestions are based on the limits of our current technology and what tests can be performed. What if the missing aircraft ended up further into the future than 2022? New research into the idea of traveling to the future through a wormhole suggests that it is possible. In 2017, expanding on Einstein's theories, physicists Ping Gao, Daniel Jaffries, and Aaron Wall discovered a way to open a wormhole using quantum entanglement. Though the method has only been available to deliver microscopic wormholes, it is believed it can provide stable ones. That would solve the main issue raised in Einstein's equation and allow an object to travel through a curve in the fabric of space-time, allowing travel into the future. Physicist and wormhole researcher Brianna Grado-White says, We're learning that we can, in fact, build wormholes that stay open using simple quantum effects. For a very long time, we didn't think these things were possible to build. It turns out that we can. Pan Am Flight 914 is one of several accounts of missing aircraft. Is the story true? Could it have traveled into the future? Science suggests that it is possible, though we're still limited in our ability to present all of the details of exactly how to travel through a wormhole into the future. Or is the story simply a work of fiction, penned by a writer at the Weekly World News? I'm sure the debate will continue well into the future. Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.